recording. Now you was recording you. Yeah. Now you're recording me. <laughs> now I'm recording you. Yeah. What you doing, Shea Bear? Fishing. Ha ha. So where are we at? Oak Hammock. We're at Oak Hammock. Yep. Camping, aren't we? Yeah. Getting ready to throw a couple racks of ribs as soon as that fire burns down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there we got the fire. Should have got... been filming. Hmm. Should have been filming. Oh, yeah. Well. I started that fire. That's okay. No match, no lighter, no spark, and I didn't even blow on it. Nope, you didn't. There you go. Bruno's over here. He's hanging out. And we had, Shaver did a solo yesterday, and we, we I brought him home, and he did some editing, and I loaded the car. So we are here. We got the tent. We brought that, I brought that to him this morning so he could put it up. Well, this afternoon it wasn't the morning. And so we put that up and then we left and we went to the house for a little bit. Yeah, that was fun. It's not that hard, really. Um, 10 minutes, only our second time. Yeah, that's it's not bad. Still faster yeah. than, than the instant up thing we've got. Yeah, for the, uh, for the picnic table. Yeah, yeah that screen thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, that thing's horrible. Well, I don't even like bringing it because it is so horrible. But it is good to have one of them. But I like to find something that is a little bit better and easier to put up than that one. I mean, it's nice yeah. if it rains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does come in handy. Yeah. But it's not instant up by any means. No. The tent right there went up. A lot easier. That's the second time we ever put it up, and it went up as easy as our and really, other tent. You know, if we... If it rains, we can go in there. That's what I got it for, and we can it hooks up to the car, as you guys, most of you know. And uh, we sleep in the back of the car, but we can use this as a tent too. And we can just get in there and put our chairs in there and sit in there if we have to. So we don't have to be back there all the time. Um, so it's very versatile, I think. I think we're gonna use it a lot. So I think it's nice to have. I have to go back to the house, so we're not going to hook it up to the back of the car right now until, because I'm going to take her dinner and um, after we eat, and I have to make sure she's good for bed, so we'll, I'll do all that, and then I'll come back, and then we can hook it up to the car, and I think what we're going to do, we're, we're going to watch a movie outside by the fire, and we're going to put the, it, use this, that for the screen, I guess, that's what we're going to do. That's our goal. Yeah, for the projector. Yeah, for the projector. So. Sit here and watch the movie. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you know, we've been here before. We like back here. Nobody's here but us over on this side. Now we're on the other side. There's what four or five of them over there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a crowd over there, and they're all different people, you know. So, nobody wants to come back here because they're scared. Right? Is that what that guy told you? Yeah, that'll be my story time tonight, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to a guy. I took my walk. My video will be up soon. Uh, so I took a walk yesterday, a little hike, and I don't know if they can hear me. I don't know. Is your thing working? Yeah, it's working. Can, is it picking me up? No. What about now? Talk. Yes. Talk. Hang on and I'll talk. Okay, so. Yeah. All right. But, so I went for a walk yesterday, a little hike through there. And I shut the camera off when I walked through there. There really wasn't anything to see. So, until I got to the other side. But on the way through, I was talking to an old man up there camping in his van. And, uh, you know, we spoke and he said, asked where I was at. He said, you, you back there in the bush, ain't you? I said, yeah. He goes, yeah. He, I said, uh, that's, that's my favorite spot, our favorite spot. I said, every time we've come here, it's been open. He said, well, you know why it's been open, don't you? I said, why? He said, things move. <laughs> I said, what'd you say? 
He said, I said, things move. <laughs> Nobody likes it back there. I said, well, the first night we was here, I said something was rustling around right behind us. I said, it was probably just a pig or something, but I said, whatever it was, it was pretty good size. And he said, I told you, things move. Nobody likes it back there. They're all scared of it. He said, that happened to me the first time I stayed out here too. So he said, I'm here and not over there where you're at. Because he was here before we got here. So he said, it's beautiful back there. Things move. That's interesting. Said, well, I got to get moving. So have a good day, sir. He said, you too. Be careful back there. I said, I know things move. He said, that's right. <laughs> things move. <laughs> that's funny. You'll have yours up before I have this, so you'll be fine. So that's what's happening. So I'm going to sit here for a few more minutes and then I got to vacuum the inside of that because last time we used it, it was raining. It rained the whole time as usual. So it kind of got dirty inside, so I'm going to vacuum it out. It's got some leaves in there, so I'm going to do that. And then I can take the stuff that's out of the back of the car and put in there. Um, so I can lay the bed down and get it all set up. So all I have to do when I come back is just hook it up to the car because it's going to get dark and by the time I get back it will be pitch black so it will be easier if I already have the bed done and, and that. So um, we like it here. It's not far from the house. You know, I, I have to go back and forth and check on her. We have cameras in the house too. So we, our cell phones work out here so we can turn on the cameras and we can see her. And our cameras are only for the living room and they go in down the hallway, but they don't go in the bedrooms or the bathrooms for privacy. Um, but um, if we don't hear from her or see her, we can yell on that one camera. It's a speaker. So um, if she could yell loud enough, I would know if she had fallen or something like that. So, But I'm going to go back there in a little bit to feed her. I was going to bring her out here, but because of her issues that she's having, Shaver's afraid that we might end up calling an ambulance out here and it might be difficult. <coughs> so we we'll just leave her at the house for now until she gets a little bit better. Okay, sorry guys, I had to get a drink. I'm gonna rest and I'll be back. Okay guys, so we got the flames down. I worked so hard getting these flames and Worked hard putting the wood on there. Didn't I, Shea Bear? Shut up. <laughs> so that's our dinner. That looks very good. And we have potato salad and macaroni salad to go with it. So there we go. Should have got some corn. Mm. Corn on the cob? Yes, I yeah, should have got some. I could have made two. Yeah, it would have been. Some over here to throw the corn in. Yeah, it would have been good. Oh, they were so good at Easter, weren't they? <laughs> they turned out really good. They were really good. Nice and tender. Yep, they were. So I've taken everything out, and that you see, Mr. Bruno is is being on the bed. So I got that ready, pretty much. I covered it up with our big blanket so he doesn't get it all dirty underneath. So there we go. Say hi, Bruno. So. Hey, there you are. Okay, so, and I'll show you. I took everything out, and see, we put all our stuff in here. So we got it all in there now. There we go. I had to clean it out. It had a lot of leaves in there. But, you know, it was pouring rain, and pff, you're not going to do all that in the rain. It only took me maybe 10 minutes with that little vacuum cleaner I got. It was great. It's super for this stuff. So... That worked really good. So, he's still got part of his bed up over there. And that's about it for now. I'm just going to sit here and relax for a little bit. Because now I pretty much got everything ready. I'll have to, after I eat, I will go back to the house and do my thing. So. Monkey gives me this. But, I got this. Check it out, Dennis. 
There you go. Oh no! There we go. Be fine. Little dirt. That's what camping is about. Got a little dirt on there. Won't matter. Fine. Yep. So I got one rack and I brought it home and then I was looking at it the other day and I was like, well, I gotta go to Walmart. I said to him, you want me to get another rack? Because he likes to eat snacks and also he likes to um, have leftovers for the next day. So I was like, well, we could eat this the next day if we have enough leftover or whatever. So I got two racks this time. So there we go. Yummy, yummy. I'll bring you back, you guys, back in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm out here. I'm going to go back to the house to see my mom and check on her. I'm going to take you a little ride down here. I'm going to add music to this because I didn't bring my mic with me. I am louder, so hopefully you guys are not underwater, but if I am, it's because I didn't have the mic on. Um, I left it there. I'm going to I brought my camera because I need to put it on the charger while I am at home. Because Shaver took my charger. <laughs> he needed it for his phone. So. <coughs> so anyways, I'll take this to the house and enjoy the music.
<laughs> trying to find my damn wondering why my mic wasn't working here we go we're gonna go for a walk it is about 9 30 the next day there's the water down there that's where all the airboats were all night my god they they're horrible you know they they just think they can go anywhere wherever they want and don't care about nobody else you know we come out here to get some peace and quiet and listen to bears and and coyotes and you know just to get some peace and they go out here in the swampland out here this is where they go and uh, i think shea bear had it on his channel he he put the drone up in through there it's pretty in there but they go and they hang out in there and and they just go all day and all night I think they stopped maybe around 11.30 last night. And I thought there was an ordinance that said that they could only run them until 10 o'clock at 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock at night, I think it is. And because uh, they're so noisy, you know. Um, I mean, I, I'm fine for fun, but, you know, that stuff is noisy. So here we are, as you can see, we're by ourselves, all by ourselves again. Mm. Back here, up there, we're, there's all kinds of people up that way. So I gotta go to the bathroom, so I thought I'd take you with me for a little walk. It is a little walk. It's no big deal, but it's a walk. So I like it back here. I don't. I don't there's not enough trees over there and, and not enough privacy over that uh, up there, you know. If there was just, you know, us out here, we could probably go over there. But, um, yeah, it's just no privacy. We like our privacy a little bit, you know. Yeah, you know, I just don't want to hear their dogs and and stuff and you put too many dogs together and they all start barking you know so anyways I'm gonna go out here and see go to the bathroom it's gonna be a nice day a gorgeous day Shaber had a coughing fit last night couldn't stop it was pretty bad it took a while for him to calm down I don't know what that was all about uh, I have no idea. He's never done that before. So, I don't know. So, anyways, where is the. Oh, it's over here. Okay, I see it. Yeah. But it looks like there might be a few done. That trailer's there. I think they're staying here. I think you can stay up here for what, 14 days and then you gotta move. And you can move to the next one, you know, if, there, if you can get reservations and stuff. That guy is there. I think somebody else is, um, there was another one. I don't know if they're still here or not. There was like four or five through here, all through here. And I was like, wow, that's busy. I, I have ever seen it in here. So, um, which is nice. I mean, it means people getting out and having fun. They're enjoying. There's those yappy dogs. Yeah. They were good last night, though. Yeah, they weren't bad at all. Some guy got mad at them or something. Told them to keep their dogs quiet. <laughs> so, anyways. You have been here before. We brought you here many times. We can't go far because of my mom, you know. This is only a few minutes away. You know, I go back and forth. So, um, just to make sure she's okay and stuff, you know. But, um, yeah. So, it's pretty through here, though. This is not the one that's on the water. There is water, but it's really not swampland. And, uh, yeah. So, there's a couple down there two there yeah I think one left I think that's what it is one left anyways 
I will turn you back on when I finish my duties. I'll be back. So, there we go. That is over with. See, we just came where all those trees were way over there. That's a nice little walk. I like to walk in the mornings. Oh, God. It's gorgeous out. It's going to be a gorgeous day. I don't know how he's going to feel. It is windy. Oh, yeah, very windy. So Hopefully you guys can hear me. Yeah, I think you can. So, uh, yeah. But I got two slivers on my freaking finger from the wood that when we picked it up and brought it here. Oh, it's driving me crazy. I have to play with them, try and get them out. And, uh, yeah. It is gorgeous. So, I don't know. I wanted to go fishing today. Because we got the creek. We have to leave the park here. But we can sit over there by the creek and uh, go fishing for a little bit if he wants. I'll see how he feels. He might want to go home. We still have another night here. I still having a hard time sleeping in that van. I mean, the SUV. I don't know what I'm going to do. Tonight, I think, I bought that pad that was my dad's for working underneath the car. And it's hard, like hard, hard. I mean, it's old. And they're not soft anyways. So, I think what I'll do is put my mattress on top of it if we spend the night again tonight. And I'll see if that works better. And it might, because, um, you know, it, it helped. I'm not saying it didn't help. So, I should have put my mattress on it last night. And I was like, well, I want to see how this works. And so, I'll try it the other way if we stay and see how that works. Now, we we were coming here, and uh, Shaber bought a car. Well, I bought a car. And I bought, I bought it. So when we just do the camping in the tent and not hook it up to the car, that um, I could lay on that. And because it's hard for me to get up and off the ground anymore. I just can't do it. I'm older than he is, too, you know. And uh, so, um, it's just hard. All of a sudden, after this car accident, I had I started having problems. I couldn't believe it, you know. I'm not that old. But, anyways, so, we got this cot. So, he, he slept in the tent part of the... Um, and, uh, and put the, t put the uh, cot there. I laid on it once and it felt very comfortable, really. So he wanted to test it out and see how what it was like. So that was fine because that gave me and Bruno more room in the back of the SUV. So that might work out, you know. It might be just better. We can, we can do that. And uh, if he likes it, do it that way sometimes, you know, so. Anyways, oh my goodness, it's so pretty out here. I love it. I just, you know, he's been out here for two days, so. Me, this is, I don't want to be out here. Yesterday, we got all that stuff, you know, together, and it took time. And then I have to run back and forth to help my mom. So, it's not much relaxation for me. So, but I figured today would be more of a relaxation day than anything. But I'll see how he feels first. If you don't feel good, we can go home, I guess. But, oh well. Oh, it's so pretty. Just pretty. Anyways, I left Bruno in the car. I didn't want to take him there with me. He, I have to put his harness on and stuff like that, so. Yeah. We heard some noises last night, I'll tell you. I don't know what it was. I mean, raccoons make noises and armadillos do, but that's different. It was a heavy thump. I don't know if they're wild boars. 
which could be, or if they're a bear. But you never see them come out, thank goodness, out of here. So you never see them, but um, you hear them. So, did not hear no coyotes last night. Don't know why. Usually do. I'm just not hearing them. I heard one owl. And that was it. I think those airboats really scared them off. And they go somewhere else. So, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm up and he's not. And I need to go check on my mom, I guess. Mm. I could unhook the car and just drive off. <laughs> and then he wakes up and you'll see the guy. I'm gone. Go, where did you go? You left me. <laughs> he probably hear me. <laughs> that. I think he's snoring. Oh my God, do you want to hear it? Yeah, he's snoring, guys. Oh my God, he had a rough night. He really did. I felt bad for him. I don't, I was going to take him to the hospital, really. You know, if he didn't stop, I was going to, he, he was just going to go. If he didn't like it, I, oh well. I mean, that's another thing. When we do these things, we have to make sure he's, we're, we're kind of close to a hospital. It's not too far away, you know, which we're not, so, which is good. You know, especially with his heart condition, you know, we have to watch it for him. And me, with my diabetes, you just never know when when I go up too high or go too low. I've been doing pretty good on it lately. Sorry, guys, I was yawning. And, um, yeah, I've been doing pretty good on it. So, not getting the weight off like I would, but that thyroid is probably slowing me down on it. And I need to get out and walk more. You know, that's another thing. <laughs> it's procrastination. doesn't help. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I don't know. I might build me a fire. So I can have me some coffee. Those yappy dogs. Terrible. Anyways, anything happens, I'll let you know. Okay guys, so we're eating. We're gonna have our breakfast. I think we'll go to the house. I gotta get my mom moving. It's gonna be late, but she'll be okay for a day. And Shaver's got his bacon going. He's hanging out. So why did you have a coughing fit last night? What do you what do you think your theory was on that? My theory is I was fine all night out here, other than a slight cough that I normally have. <coughs> they call that COVID cough. I can't help it. Right. But I got in there, did my filming, lay down, start watching a, a film. A film. Start hmm. watching some YouTube, listen to some stories, right? So I started coughing and coughing, and I started getting a headache, and I was coughing for like an hour. I came outside cough went away. Hmm, okay, well, I'm better. Went back in, laid down, within a minute and a half, started coughing, coughing, coughing. What the hell's going on? And then I remembered my thermocell was down below me. So I shut the thermocell off, and I came back outside and left the door open a little bit so it would air out. That must have been it, because when I went back in that time, no more cough. Yeah, you were coughing really bad. Now, I know what you're thinking. You shouldn't have it down. But I had it the same distance away from me as if it was sitting on a table, which apparently you're you're supposed to be able to do is set it on a <coughs> table like between two people. And so it was, you know, it was no closer than that. Mm -hmm. But that's my theory because as soon as I shut that off, you I were fine. fine. Yeah, I was almost going to take you to the hospital if it didn't stop.
Is I was like, what the heck is this all about? Is he allergic to something? Did he eat something that we, he might have been allergic to? I know, but we all ate the same thing, so. <laughs> yeah, but. And Bruno got a sneezing fit, which was oh, cute as hell. I know, and zoom, it once coughing, zoom, zoom. And, and Bruno sneezing. He must have sneezed like 10 times in a row, that poor dog. Cute. <laughs> I know the pollen is very high here right now. So I thought maybe the pollen was getting to both of you. But um, yeah, so it was quite a night. <laughs> Never a dull moment with us, is there, babe? No, because no. I came out here and it was fun. I even smoked a cigarette and it made hmm. it better. Isn't that funny as that soon it made as it I better? I a cigarette, I mean, it, it made it better. Huh. It was like you flipped a switch. Yeah. So. Then I went back in and started again. Well, I guess you better not put that thing underneath you anymore. So. But it was, it was kind of like <coughs> over to my right, though. Yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. I didn't have it, like, directly under me, but it was down on the floor over here to my right. Uh -huh. So, with me laying down, if I sit up and sit in that chair and put it on that table, which we've done before, and it was fine. Yeah. I would actually be closer to it. Right. I was last night, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe the way the tent is, it just kind of surrounded me. Maybe. It's supposed to be non-toxic, I don't know, but that stuff will make you choke out. Yeah. So. Now, I wasn't low on air, I was just coughing. Yeah, you coughed a lot. So, now, I was anyway. breathing fine, I just coughing. Yeah. So, we got the fire going here. He's got it going. So, I'm going to eat, because... I need to get to the house and help my mom for a few minutes. Then what are we going to do, babe? Are we going to go fishing? Yeah, I guess so. Yay! You said you wanted to go fishing. I want to go fishing. All right. All right. So stay tuned, guys. I got to check. Guys, so we're going to head out of here real soon. He's detaching the tent, and he's going to move it forward. And uh, we're going to leave. We're going to go to the house. I got to get her up. It's late. And she needs her meds. So, um, yeah. So we'll get that done. And um, instead of going fishing, we're going to go and take a hike when we come back. He's got, he's going to do a little bit of editing and um, <clears throat> and that. So, um, why I'm, I'm helping her. So, um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, instead of fishing, so we fish all the time so this is something different so we'll get this going and we'll get out of here and get back as soon as we can yeah that way you got something different for your viewers yeah yeah so you feel like a button oh yeah is that your button no did you lose a bus button last time we was here i don't know i never know never know we are always in this corner so you never know time we've been out here we've been right here yeah no one's been here i can't believe it because this is a nice little spot right here i think don't you i like it yeah i do too i like because you can hear the animals at night yeah there's bruno you know his water yeah i come out to smoke a cigarette or whatever you can hear the animals walking around and the night birds except that one last night kind of upset me mm-hmm I was like, oh, cool, there's a night bird. After about 20 minutes, I was like, that night bird needs to shut up. <laughs> yeah, he got noisy after a while. He was like, I think he was right there in that oak tree right there. Mm -hmm. He was close. Beautiful sounding bird, but, you know, I like the sound of a good running diesel, too, but I don't want to hear it all freaking day long, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> mm. All oh, right. Bud. So I'm going to get this going, guys, and we'll be back when we come back and uh, we start hiking, I guess. I'll turn you back on. Guys, we're back at the campsite, and we got a fire going. We've been here a little bit, and I, I'm sorry. And Shea Bear is getting ready for dinner. What are you making, babe? Um, pizza pocket. Yeah. So we're gonna have pizza pockets and we're gonna have apple. Apple pies. Apple pies, okay. Yeah, that's what these are for. They're actually pie irons. Yeah. That's why I've been calling them pie irons. So he's gonna do this and we're gonna watch them. This 
stuff you don't want to get it too saucy because it will soak through the bread and then it won't tie, toast right in the other mess. It just takes a little bit. You can use little sausages, you know, cut up some sausages, whatever. I have made it before with Vienna sausage. Mm. I don't know if you don't like it, but some of you guys might. Okay. This. Now let's put some pepperonis on here. You want them cut up? I'm sorry about their roads, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, no, they don't need to be cut up. Do you want them cut up? No, I'm fine with them. I like them whole. this over flip our little handle let's put it on the fire Okay, so now we're just going to put this on the fire. Um, you can do this right over flames, which I might put a couple pieces of wood in there to make it flame up. It'll get done faster, but, you know, just go until it's toasted how you like your toast. You know, light, dark, it doesn't matter. However you want it. It's your creation. Put whatever you want in it. There we go. Now I'm going to make another one get put on here. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. And then I'll show you when it's done what it looks like. Okay. And Monkey will have to taste test one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the fun part. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Wow. Look at that. Look nice. At that Darker as light as you want, but it's toasted. Cute. That's Very cute. Nice. Yeah. See, like this one. She might like this one better. I'll leave this in here so it can stay warm for her. No. Cut it in half. Diagonal? Sure. That one's mine. I grabbed the wrong one out. I was like that cheese ain't melted. Ah. Uh. Or the other one, I mean. All right, here we go. There it goes. I gotta put mine back in. Hmm. Oh, that looks good. Oh, look at the cheese running out. Yeah. 
Oh, I like that. Ooh, yummy. Right. I'm gonna let that cool, and then when she gets ready to take a bite, mm -hmm. I'll bring you back. Okay, monkey. Don't blow in the camera. There you go. She's blowing in the camera, but her mic's on her chest. She's whistling to make sure that the mic's working. She can go into the camera. The mic's on your chest. All right. Okay, so she's, she's you know, I'll cut that on mine, and you'll keep yours. I'm keeping it mine. All right, guys. So this is it. I'm going to try it out. It looks good. Very simple. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Does it taste like pizza? Tastes like pizza. Yeah. Uh-huh. Very good, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that, <laughs> that string pool. String pool? <laughs> Cheese pool. <laughs> You're supposed to go see how far you can do it. Oh. <laughs> call it a cheese pool. <laughs> See how far you can pull the cheese before it breaks on its own. <laughs> but Very good, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. You can buy that Pillsbury pizza crust mm -hmm. or whatever you know you want to do. We're just using bread. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah. And we already had the, the pizza sauce mm -hmm. from when I made homemade pizza a while back. Yep. So, oh. hey, yep. there you go, Monk. Enjoy. Thank you. What's your other one cooking here? All right. <laughs> you making fun I'm of me so again? I'm so glad I got that on camera. <laughs> so you were whistling at your camera instead of your mic. I do it every single time because I'm afraid I'll leave it off. This is your mic up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's your transmitter. Mm. Just like a, a radio station, it mm. transmits. Mm -hmm into your radio mm -hmm. so this is your transmitter it mm -hmm. goes from there into your transceiver or your receiver okay mm -hmm. and then into your camera mm -hmm. see what i mean mm -hmm. so just remember this is this is your mic this is not this is the receiver it receives what the mic's saying and then it gives talks to the camera and gives information to the camera mm -hmm. really some people will find that interesting they would because they wouldn't know Okay, guys, so as you know, I am I left, I came back, and I took care of my mom, which she needed. He's got a fire going, and we got everything ready to lay down, and before it got dark, I wanted to have it done, so we didn't have to worry about it. So he's going to back it up in a few minutes and attach it, and I got, this time, I used my mattress. So I'm hoping this is going to work. We will see how well it works. And I propped up. My pillow kept falling in the crack even though I pushed the chair as back as I, far as I could. So I put my um, backpack back there so I can prop my head up and stuff. So it won't fall down. Yeah, and it worked really good and I should have done it last night. And there's Bruno, he's already ready for bed. He said he's tired. It's been a long weekend for him. He's had a blast. Yeah, so we had a good time, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, I'll let him do his job here, and I'll have to help him. And if anything exciting happens, we will bring you back on. If not, I'll see you probably in the morning. Monkey story time. Monkey story time? Yeah, because it's Monkey's channel, and it's Monkey story. So yesterday... We're getting in the truck to go to the house and take care of mom and everything like that. And we're getting in the truck. She said, we should do this once a month. I'm like, do what? She said, go camping at the minimum at least once a month. She said, you good with that? And I looked her in the eye and went, sure. <laughs> the sky's <laughs> blue, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And maybe sometimes it'll be more, but. You know, we're in Florida, we can camp all year pretty easy. Yeah, We pretty don't much. have to get a hot tent or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, I thought about making one, or, but you don't really need it here in Florida because we only really get one month out of the year, and, and those buddy heaters, mm -hmm. you don't have to cut wood or anything, mm -hmm. buy the bottles. 
you can get the thing to refill it. You know, yeah. those little bottles mm -hmm. of propane. Fill your big propane tank up. That's what we're going to do. And then you can fill your little bottles up. Yeah. So, so that's all we need for Florida. So anyways, we're going to do this. I think we're going to watch a movie on the screen. Outside or inside? Outside. More. Outside. Okay. So we'll do that. And if anything crazy happens, we'll come back. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Do it outside. Why break precedence? No, I like being outside. That it was means nice. Why change? No, it was Unless nice. You don't know big words like that. Really, I did go to college, you know. Yeah, it must have been I, horrible I, college. That's <laughs> not. I did too. It's called kindergarten. <laughs> you want to look at it that way? You're awful. <laughs> you're just awful. Just because you're a well, genius. They, they, I no, mean, I am one step now. Uh, Oh, I'm one step. step down from genius. Oh, big deal for my like genius. Like one or two points away from. Genius. Oh, so you're 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 done. You're not a genius then. No, no. But you're pretty I might close. Be now, because that was 30 years ago. I took the test. Oh so. uh, yeah. So I'd like to see you take it now. Let me see I don't what know you if get. You'd like to see that or not? You, I probably feel probably stupid as crap. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, well, look at all these engineers that went to college. Ugh. Look at your car. Raise yeah. the hood of that and change the alternator. Well, you wonder why they do the in things the day, they do. Yeah. Like like your dad's Corvette even, 1990. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. It's done. 30 <laughs> minutes for a water pump. That thing, five hours. It took me a half an hour to change a freaking headlight bulb. Yeah. What? You no, know? That was crazy. You got to pull a wheel off to change a battery. Yeah, these engineers, all oh, it looks good on the computer and everything. I want to see one of them get out here and do this thing. Do something. Just change the alternator on this for me. They can't do it. Hmm. The computer says it'll work. That's what we're going with. Yeah, that's the problem. They need to be doing it, too, so they can understand what they're doing. I mean, it's ignorant. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to get this back before it gets dark. We'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so we're packing our stuff up. It's time for us to go home. We watched a, well we listened to stories. It wasn't really a movies, but they were interesting stories, weren't they, Shea Bear? Yeah. Yeah, they were fun. They were cool. So we just got to get the stuff and put it in the car and pack this down. It won't take us too long, I don't think. Just to remember where I do with my stuff sometimes. I gotta look for the cover for this thing. I don't know. Is it up there? So I can bring that down and yeah. So we had a good time. It was fun. Yep. And we got a neighbor over there. We talked to them for a little bit. And they do they live in their camper. They have two kids and um but they live in it, and uh, so yeah. So they're gonna move over here when we leave. They left. So they had to do something. So um, yeah, they're gonna come over here. They wanted to be able to let the kids roam around and have fun. So they came back here. They were up in the upper area near the toilet, and um, he came back here. So. So anyways, they go, he goes back and forth to each um, campsite. <coughs> so that's what he does. <clears throat> but the kids don't, are not always here because they're her ex and hers. So um, I guess they share them. So anyways, that's it guys. Um, anything happens interesting, like Shea Bear falling last night was interesting. I wish I would have had it on camera. <laughs> To help you up. <laughs> we both fell. One and a half minutes before I went down. <laughs> I tripped over this stupid thing right here. Yeah. Why do they make these the same color where you can't see them at night? I don't understand that. We they need to. Reflected ones. Yeah. I'll show you what happened to mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. and then the five minutes later, I see him on the One ground. Five minutes later, I helped you up, walked around the side of the car, and I went down. Yeah, and he went down. Oh, oh, that thing came off. 
You break it? I didn't break it. It was just, <laughs> yes, it's broke, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I went to step up there, and that thing flipped out and flipped me down. I got up. I had to help you up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. So I, I did. I got up on my own. You were laughing. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> There's no evidence that you helped me out. <laughs> and you're like... Oh, it was bad, guys. Can you help me, please? <laughs> yeah, I can't get up. When I'm on the ground, I cannot get back up. So I, you know, I was like, mm, I don't know. Can I help you? Mm, let me see. Come on. <laughs> um, I couldn't get up. I was trying to get catch my wind, and then I was going to try, and I tried, and I couldn't get up. I come so. around, I was like, what the hell? Are I thought she was bent down looking under the truck, you know, making sure everything's cool with the tent. <laughs> nope. She just couldn't get up. No. Oh, that was so, bad. What are you looking for? Nothing. I fell. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> you I need... didn't laugh at you. <laughs> well, it was funny because I did it and then he fell. So. Yeah, I helped you up, walked around the truck. <laughs> yeah. So. Hmm. That's a sign of getting older, I think. I it's don't not know. Getting older. It's just a sign of <laughs> stupidity. Unfortunate circumstances. Well, we gotta get some reflectors or put something on those because, yeah, that's dangerous. Especially with me at night. I can't see as it is. I can't see during the day except yeah, at we night. Get something in hang over there, <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, it, it was easy. I, I totally was thinking of something else to do that we needed to do and forgot it was there. So, anyways, I like our tent, don't you? Yeah. I'm happy with it. And Shea Bear slept on the cot, so he's got more room, and I have more room. That was nice. We, yeah. You know, we, we had plenty of room. And, yeah. Because she moves a lot. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, Mr. Drama over there. <laughs> That's only half of what she does. <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> I'll yeah. be laying there at night watching TV, you know, just relaxing almost. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, did I hit you? <laughs> well, seems how it's only me and you here. Yes, you hit me. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Can't blame the person who's sleeping. <laughs> but that was nice, though. We yeah. did have more room. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So we were cool. Anyways, we're going to break this down. If anything happens, I'll come back and then we'll do our all weather. I'll do my ending. <laughs> the outro. Outro. <laughs> I was going to say it. So we'll do it and then I'll do that after we get everything in there. Guys, we pretty much all got everything. Saber's putting the tent in the bag here, and just a few things up here, and then we're out of here. So that's it for now. Hope you all enjoy the videos. I don't know if I'll be able to do it all in one or two. It depends on my editing, what I need to do. So, um, yeah. So. I'll put part one if I have to separate them. If not, then you'll just see the whole thing at once. Okay, so hope you enjoyed. We did. We had fun this time. We have fun every time. Don't we, babe? Yeah. Yeah, just being out here and sitting by a fire is nice. Bruno, he was sitting by the fire, and he was looking at the fire last night, and he was just so content. He was happy being out here, too. So everybody gets happy when they come out camping. So, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Say bye, Shaber. Bye. <laughs> Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all. Bruno's over here. He says bye, too. There he is. Say bye to everybody. There he goes. <laughs> he still has his pajamas on. Anyways, I'm out. Take care, all, and have a great week. Mm -hmm.